a second particle q moves along the x-axis so its velocity between 0 and 4 is given by this function 45 root t cosine of the 0 0.063 t squared and it's in meters per hour so again we're talking about velocity it says find the time interval which the velocity is at least 60 meters per hour so what we can do is we can graph the v t q of t function so that's this curve here and we're going to graph another line at y equals or v q of t v q equals 60 meters per hour okay so that is going to be the the where it's 60 meters per hour and we want to know where it's above at least or above 60 meters per hour so we find the intersection points and we find these intersection points by intersecting those two lines on the graphing calculator and i get 1.8662 hours and we also get 3.5 one nine two hours as well okay so that's the first part so find the time interval so t is going to be between 1.8662 and 3.5192 okay so that represents the solution for part the first part this is a time interval the second part of this question asks, find the distance traveled by particle Q. So when we talk about distance traveled, we have to be careful because the distance is going to be equal to, distance is the area under the curve, but we need to take the absolute value of that area under the curve. Okay, so in fact, we need to make sure that the velocity is positive. So we'll do it as V of Q T dt and we want that from the lower bound of 1.8662 to the upper bound of 3.5192 okay so then this portion here we're going to get by integrating on our graphing tool between 1.8 662 to 1.3519 1 1.519 sorry 3.5192 that area when i put it in my calculator gives me 106.1088 meters okay so this area in here represents 106.1088 meters and since it is positive, which can leave that as 106.1088 meters. Okay, so the distance traveled is that.